tell us what uh, uh, booze we're going to use today for milk punch. Because typically it's cognac or magnac, but you're throwing a little twist in here. Well, like old school, old school milk punch. She definitely uses a lot of brandy, old world spirits. You see some rum tossed in there, here and there. But the fact of the matter is, is you can use whatever you want. Like yeah. I say, it's more about the technique yeah. than it is the specific ingredients. So this one uh, is, is Scotch whiskey. Uh, there, there's no better person in the world to talk about Doors than Mr. Gareth Howell. Hey, welcome. Hey, gentlemen. How are so you? We have Gareth here, who is the uh, spirit uh, whiskey ambassador for Bacardi, and he's generous enough today to lend us some of your delicious scotch. No, thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure. Um, I've had the privilege of making milk punch with Eamon now for, yeah. for quite a long time. And uh, so we thought we'd use something that would just be readily available and delicious as well. So yeah. we're going to use some Doors White Label to make this milk punch and run you through, well, really a little bit more about how we actually go about it. Sweet. So we're going to start with our juices. We've got the watermelon and the pineapple. We're simply going to put them into this 12 core Cambro here and start mixing everything up. Right. Those, those, this those is where the action takes place, right here. Boom. Oh. This is where the action takes place. It's also worth noting that uh, milk punch is a classic punch. You know, punch is uh, a sweetener, a seasoning agent, a spirit, um, a juice and a tea, right? Those ingredients are almost always in nearly every punch. This is a classic punch. We're simply clarifying it using milk, right? Look at the color, it's beautiful. Totally. It's pink color. And this will end up being clear, right? It will be clearer. Clear. It'll be translucent. Translucent, right? But there will be, be pink. some pigment. Uh, you know, I, I'm willing to bet there will be a, a, a tiny little blush to it, yeah. but it'll be a very, very different color than it is now, for sure. But most importantly, clarifying. That's right. Translucent. Translucent. Clarification, we're gonna see in a moment. Um, well, most importantly, what I what I love about No Punch is that it's fun. It's, that's right. It's a lot of fun. It's delicious, um, and that's what that's what drew me in. Well, it's fun to drink, uh, but if there's if there's one thing that uh, people who make No Punch can agree to, it is one of the most stressful and excruciating. Don't endeavors. try this at home. Yeah, it's 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 like it's it's completely insane. You know, whenever whenever you're staring at it, and we'll stare at it all together, but you're like, there's no possible way that this process can actually work. You know, and every single time, it doesn't matter how many times I make milk punch, I'm terrified. What, what do you think? I mean, this is where it gets interesting because what we have here is just a combination of citrus juice and tea. Things that you wouldn't normally necessarily in this quantity put together in one right. container. Yeah. And then you grab your booze. And as we know, alcohol is not necessarily cheap. Um, a lot of the milk punches that we've historically made, um, There'll be a number of different alcoholic bases in there, but I've always been a fan of using brown spirits. For me, when you put the alcohol in and then filter, you get a much better transference of flavor than a clear yeah. spirit. But that doesn't mean that tequila and vodka and gin don't make delicious milk punches, because yeah. they really do. But this is the crunch time. This is when you've got something that's worth money. It's having the, it's having the balls to try it, basically. Yeah. That's the biggest thing. I mean, yeah. Milk punch is terrifying to make. If you've got $200 worth of booze and you're looking at a Cambro, yeah. and it's just this ungodly mess yeah. of fruit and citrus and tea and botanicals. And you're, in the back of your mind, you're always thinking, do I really want to put this booze in yeah. there? Is this going to work? Yeah, for different reasons. I like using each spirits in milk punch because how often do you get a chance to take a brown spirit and turn it white? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like a fun opportunity to yeah. do something you ordinarily aren't able to do. Yeah, it's a, right? it's a, it's a little bit of a hocus pocus. That's right. Magic, uh, going on. Abracadabra. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's. So we're just, just gonna. This is always my. Whack. This is always my favorite moment. This is just where we quite literally pour booze into yeah. the container, and we're gonna put all the booze into the container. In fact, the boozier the milk punch is, the better. <laughs> yes. 